We have developments this morning. Metro Council has now given final approval to the East Bank development deal. This means plans are now in place to transform the area around the new Nissan Stadium. Tony Sloan is live near the East Bank for us this morning. And this is such a huge plan. Tony, when we're talking transformation, we mean <laughs> transformation. <laughs> You're absolutely right, Amy. You know, people are antsy about this and excited about what this could look like. But this means the east bank of the Cumberland River will eventually be home to new green spaces, businesses, parking, and even housing. Now that the ink is dry, Boston-based developer the Fallon Company, they have to stick to several stipulations outlined by Metro Council, including abiding by a certain number of affordable housing units. Fallon is on the hook to build over 1,500 housing units with different ranges of affordability. 300 100 percent affordable residential units will be built within the first phase of construction and it'll also include space for daycare. The plan includes no more than three hotels, also a new TPAC location, an open air plaza and a whole lot more. So who's funding this massive project? Well, Metro says a mix of public and private funding will finance the infrastructure. Now, construction cannot happen right away. Changes could still be made to the overall design. According to a preliminary development schedule included in Metro documents, construction on the affordable housing and hotels would not begin until June of 2026. Meanwhile, work has already begun on the new Nissan Stadium, which is anticipated to open for the 2027 season. We have much more on our website at newschannel5.com on this development, where you can see maps, plans, and also the breakdown of the housing costs.